Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this new video. This is going to be a tutorial for fellow Twitch streamers on how to use Twitch's new alerts. Now, there's probably more involved and more in-depth versions of this out there, but I am messing with it now, so I thought I would just share what I've learned. So, go to the desktop. Oop, here we are. Uh, so, it's very similar to a lot of other alert systems. Uh, Streamlabs is the one that I use the most, so I've been going off that experience for here. So, if I wanted to say create a new follow, I go to the follow category. Most of them will be collapsed, by the way. I just I went through all of them. Um, expand follow. There will be a bunch of pre-established ones. I deleted them all. You go new variant, and it creates a new variant. This is the default. This is what everyone sees when you start. Um, you can enable and disable over here, and you can edit multiple at the same time. You can click on them and be like, I want you to change specifically these things. So, one of the big things I will go over later. Um, I'm going to just delete this one. So in order to delete emo uh, emotes, alerts, uh, you have to go to the very bottom on the on the right side here, go to danger zone, and then delete variant. Boom, gone. That took me a while to understand because it just says danger zone, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. So I never went in there, and then I finally clicked it, like, oh, okay, this is where you go to delete alerts. That makes sense. Um, so every single alert is effectively exactly the same. If you're working on uh, subscriptions, you're working on charities, you're working on raids, cheering, anything like that, they're all going to be set up exactly the same way in the settings. So you have your variation name. I'm just going to name this follower one. You have your alert condition. Each one is different conditions. If you're doing bits, it'll be like cheered, or sorry, um, I think, yeah, cheered a certain amount. If it's really cheered exact amount or cheered above or below, that kind of thing. Um, follow has just a new follower. That's it. If you want to do subscribers, because most people have subscribers, um, say changes that. It has subscription as is tier, multi month, month subscribed exactly, month subscribed at least. So that'll be, you know, if they've resubbed for, you know, three months. Um, if they've resubbed for, actually, here, resub. Resubscription, month subscribed at least, and then you can set two months, ten months. Uh, what is it for exactly? You set the exact months. Uh, subscription tier, tier one, and then monthly, you can set exactly how many multiple months they have subscribed to you. So each one of the, uh, I'm just going to discard that, each one of the different categories has different conditions. That's generally the only thing that's different amongst them. Um, you have names, conditions, durations, you can do custom HTML stuff, which I don't, I don't mess with right now, I don't understand how to do that, so I'm not doing it. Um, you have the alert slide in, slide out kind of stuff, so I like them to uh, fade in, I like them to fade out, very simple, very much just, boop, there's an alert. Um, you can also set the duration, which is kind of fun, so you can see like a slide down and a slide right. I can set this to two and I can set this one to nine. And then you just preview, you don't have to save it and then preview like you do in other ones, it's just preview, which is really nice. It takes two seconds to slide down and then nine seconds to slide right should start sliding right so that's a very interesting i like the fade in fade out it's just very simple fade in fade out actually i'll do slide up and slide down at zero just because it's super simple to do that and i like the i just like the standard slide down slide up it just feels good to me layout again very simple so you can do text to the sides below above or on top of you have your background color which I honestly, I would never bother with this. It's just a big square you can put color on. Um, I will probably always leave that at zero. Uh, padding is for that cell. It basically just means you can increase or decrease the amount of size it takes up on the screen. You can do rounded corners, you can do drop shadow. And again, if you do the drop shadow, it does show up as the square. So let's just put this up to 20 um, and make it red. The drop shadow does appear out of the box. So I never really have that on either. I'll just leave drop shadow off forever because I thought it would be drop shadow on the actual emotes. It's not. If you want to have drop shadow on the emotes, you have to put that as part of the emote you create. Uh, text to speech, text and speech rather. So you get your general, you know, the username just followed or just did something or blah, blah, blah. And there are variables in here for each one of the followings, like subscribe, subscribe for the X amount of months, blah, blah, blah. Um, you got your font, which I like. Is it in here? I think it is in here. Um, you just just directly no okay I'll scroll down through it uh, I love using the black ops one text I don't know why 
and I also like to have the text below the alert. Um, you can change the color. I, my color channel, or my channel's color, is basically this kind of bright blue, almost cobalty, very much Halo One cobalt color. Um, you can change the main text colors. Well, if you want to do black, white, red, whatever. Uh, I'll probably leave it as just straight white, and you can put a drop shadow onto the text itself. So that's something I'll probably leave on. Um, if I wanted to do a like a white alert, that way the white if it doesn't show up over top of a white gameplay, the the drop shadow still so it could still kind of be shown. Um, then you have your alert images. Sorry, then you have text to speech as well. Sorry, I never never I'm gonna have text to speech on, but you have uh, what language it is, which whose voice is gonna be. There's a ton of voices. The volume of the voice, the delay, and uh, I'm just going to turn that back off. Never have text speech on. Never. You have the alert image, and you can either upload your own or you can use images from a library. So there's a bunch of different animated. There's nine pages of animated GIFs. Um, most of these are already assigned to specific, you know, categories. Um, the Halloween stuff is unique, I think. I don't know why there's no Christmas ones yet, but there's very unique Halloween stuff. So we'll go to the bat. So we have a bat. Uh, and then you can do sounds. Again, you can upload your own sounds or you can just grab from sound library. Um, I have this. Thanks for follow. Hey, someone just followed. I'm just going to apply. Again, it's also, it can be drag and drop or you can be, you know, click and find one. Um, volume options. Celebrations is a fun little aspect. I uh, I really like this over top of Streamlabs so far. If you turn it on and then let's go fireworks. Let's go with a moderate intensity and hit preview. Hey, someone just it followed. creates these little fireworks. There's also flamethrowers and rain. I like the fireworks the most and it's it's your emotes. Except for the the bits. The bits are different. They, they don't come up but they might change if you go into the actual uh, cheering section down here. I don't know. Um, yeah, it does a bunch of your specific channel emotes. And yeah, you have intensity so you have like light which is hey, someone just followed. very small ones. Extreme which are going to be Hey, Massive someone. ones, I like moderate. Moderate is hey, my go-to. Uh, then you have the area it'll cover. So you can cover just the screen that you're that you're seeing here. You can cover just this screen. You can cover this screen and chat. And then you can cover the entire web page, which I think I'm going to leave it on the entire web page. Um, this is the only thing I wish wasn't a part of the individual alerts. I wish you could just have the uh, celebration set across the board. But you go edit multiple, select as many as you want and then you go in and you're like i want all of the oh you can't change the celebrations across the board oh that's annoying that's really annoying Ugh. okay i thought you could that's my bad i apologize so you still have to go into each individual one to change celebration manually um so yeah that's how the new alert system works so you want to make a new subscription alert Gifted Subs has also got its own unique one, so you know, it'd be um, probably like uh, individual gift, anonymous, community, community gifts, at least uh, exact or at least. So you can be like at least 10, at least 20, and it'll go up from there. So once it hits that, that threshold, once it's a 20, the 10, the 15, whatever, it'll switch over to the other variation that requires that amount. Um, so that's how you do that. I'll come up with a proper actual animation gift for that. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. These things will help me greatly. In the end, I shall see you later. Have a good day and bye.